I don't think they're looking to make uh, to like add league mechanics into the game right now. TBH. I mean, then again, it's possible because uh, when you think about it, we're still really far away from PoE two. But they're probably gonna be like pretty cautious about what they want to do. I would be surprised. I think tattoos making it into the game makes a lot of sense. But I think uh, I don't think Tata's gonna make it in. I wouldn't mind though. I like it quite a lot. <sighs> Should we remove Metamorph for Tota? I like heisting. Voice lines do say that it will come back. The voice lines do say that it will come back. What does that mean? The voice lines say that it will come back. Voice lines in my walls? The body says you are 20 years earlier than I expected you. How much voice acting to be removed forever, IMO? What about synthesis? They removed that. I mean, uh... Again, don't get me wrong. They could definitely keep it, and I wouldn't be too shocked. But I... I would be surprised. Maybe if they can't find a way to make tattoos stay. They would like keep it, keep it. But eh. Tota is so bad. Well, the thing about Tota is that it um its biggest strength when it comes to these sort of things is that it opens up an alternative playstyle for people. And GGG really likes that. They like heist, they like delve. They like things that have that end game longevity. And like something for people to do specifically in that direction. But like in Tota, it's a little bit too infinite. But then again, you compare it with Heist, and it's pretty infinite too on Heist. But I mean, obviously, I don't think another big problem with GGG is that they a lot of times when it comes to endgame mechanics that are alternative ways of playing the game, they don't perceive it from the player's point of view, they perceive it from their point of view. So for instance, the reason why heist would always beat out tota is because they put in more effort into heist therefore in their eyes heist is the thing that should stay rather than tota even if tota would end up being like way more popular you know and that's just kind of like how their brains work a lot of times and it makes it very tricky to see how much this time around for whatever league mechanic we're talking about they're valuing the effort that they put into that league mechanic yeah but i also don't think that tota is that po like that, that popular tota mechanic is ass stay positive i like it a lot i would love for it to stay genuinely the logic explains a lot i like it i think it's a very bad way of looking at things i think uh yeah, I think they're being silly if I'm being real with you. It's like, hey, this we can't keep this thing because we paid too little money for people to make it. It's like, what? How does that make any sense? Like, nobody gives a fuck that you put in 10 times more effort into Heist when everybody wants to play Ultimatum or something like that, or like Breach. Like, who cares how much money you put in? If you're choosing between the two, Keep the thing that's more popular with the player base. But again, a lot of times they don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I would be very surprised if Tota stayed. But at the same time, the thing is too that when it comes to a lot of league mechanics and the way that you have to look at them, whether they're gonna stay or not, isn't necessarily based off of uh, the league mechanics merits. It's more so about how much is that league mechanic cock blocking the rest of the game? So, how much is that league mechanic preventing people from doing the things that GG wants you to be doing, which is the core game? And uh, how much does it stifle development of the rest of the game? And then also, because like certain things will just cock block other things from existing within the game. And also there's other things that are similar in the future that they want to make to what they made already. And therefore their thinking is 
why are we adding this where we already came up with this other idea that's very similar but better because we can use the things that we learned with the previous league mechanic to make this new one better than the first one could have ever been in their eyes and then obviously they release it and then the player base hates it and you know abyss was never going to be another breach yeah sort of thing it's like ggg wanted another breach and they released abyss and then the player base was like why don't you just release breach too lol and so these sort of things are all big factors for ggg but I think right now the biggest factor is straight up just the fact that they just have PoE2 on the way and they really don't want to put in any time, effort, and thought into PoE1 that will then need to be reconsidered again when we're getting close to the release of PoE2. And so league, as far as league mechanics go, yeah. Would the game, su would the game have suffered if Crucible was a core part of the game? Probably not. But would PoE2 potentially suffer from it? For sure. I mean, of course. It's a massive factor. And it's a massive cock block for the rest of their development, yeah. Defensive layer tattoos have to stay in the game. They're way too nice. Quality of life. Yeah, but they really, they really f*** with the skill tree in a major way that... I don't know. I don't think it has a future. And it does... It does cock block pretty heavily. I have a five a penalty for each tattoo and me Gucci. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I agree with you guys that for right now, it would benefit the game a lot. I just think that GGG sees tattoos as like nothing more than a band aid. If there are issues within people's builds and skill trees and everything, they probably think that it's way better to fix it through literally any other means than it is through keeping the tattoos. Which I think is wrong for at least very many years. Maybe at the very absolute least until PoE 2, which is, I mean, PoE 2 is probably like two years away. <laughs> Still. And I think that's optimistic, by the way. So... It would be a good addition now to remove it later. But anything that they add delays other things. Nope, no shot. It's funny, you know, because when they originally announced Path of Exile 2, and I told people that it's not going to be here at least until 2023, everybody said that I'm an idiot. And here we are, round two, at 2023, with no Path of Exile 2. Let's see when it happens. I'm saying it's going to be at least two years. But, hey, we'll see. December 2024, deadline, 100%. I think that is their deadline. I agree. I just don't think they're going to meet it. When was the last time GGG has met a deadline? I can't name you a single thing in the last three years. Straight up. Always. Sweet summer child. <laughs> Why leagues are buggy? Because it doesn't pay to fix bugs. It pays to release a new league. That's not an argument as to why leagues meet deadlines. They don't. It's a decision. It's not a... I don't know. I don't know what people would even think that it is. It's not like they don't know about when things release in a bad state or they're buggy or whatever. It's more so a matter of like, hey, can we afford to fix this now versus developing new things and like working on new projects? Or can we do it like mid-league with a smaller team of people when something's incredibly urgent? Which is why a lot of like things essentially don't ever get fixed. League mechanics just come and go away. You know, like Crucible being a good example that's very recent where the league was amazing in many ways, but so horrific and easily fixable in other ways. And it just never happened. And the league came and it went and PoE continues, you know.
And I would also like to point out the Crucible was also delayed, you know? I mean, fuck, man. <laughs> PoE 2 was delayed already. The League, the Tota was delayed, PoE 2 was delayed, Crucible was delayed. What hasn't been delayed? PoE 2 will be delayed as well. Which, I think in the case of PoE 2, it's a lot more understandable, it's a lot more reasonable. Because the thing about PoE 2 is obviously... I don't care how long it's gonna take for them to release it. I mean, I do. You know, content creator brain and all that. But... And even just like personally, I just wanna play in Lost Ark with no pay to win and dailies. Like, that's all I want. It's literally all I want. Ever. Out of any game. Anything. And PoE 2 is sure as looking like it's going to be exactly that. And so, uh, I want it. But if they take six years to release it, I'll gladly wait. And I'll be there for it when it comes. Torment League was on time, I think, or Domination. I mean, things were pretty on time until Legacy. I feel like Legacy League was when everything like really went down, you know? Go. Where I'm almost 40, I can't keep doing this way longer. Why not? Until Tencent? Tencent does nothing. <laughs> oh man, I hate the Tencent argument so much. If anything, why would Tencent want the delays on their releases? How can you even like point to Tencent? Hey guys, the way that we make the most money is by not releasing things. Smart. I wish that, you know, they tell that to Blizzard so they could actually release not a piece of shit for once. I'm not saying Tencent delaying, just the timing is same. Is it? When? What league was uh, the Tencent by GGG? I feel like, again, I feel like Legacy was really when things started getting kind of crazy with the delays and everything. I don't know. I don't think it's related, honestly. Even if it's, yeah, similar timing. I mean, the reality is it probably started happening with PoE 2 being, like, a thing for GGG, even if it's not really a thing for us yet, right? Which probably would have been around Legacy. I mean, it, it very much lines up, no? Isn't that, like, a year before ExileCon or something? Or two? Man, PoE 2 has been in development for at least six years or so. No? That's kind of crazy. Be well. It must be at least six years. Since 2019? What do you mean? 2019 was already ExileCon. We've known since 2019? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it must have been like at least... I mean, at least a year mm -hmm. before. At least. Then again, I don't know. When I think back to what they did with PoE 2 at the first ExoCon, it really kind of was just concepts and ideas and nothing was really made, right? So really, I can totally see how they could have done that in one league. I mean, what did they really tell us? There's going to be all these ascendancies. There's going to be a new campaign of which we saw a very, very tiny chunk. Very tiny portion. And most of that was utilized in POV 1 anyway. So... They probably already knew that that's going to like change a lot. What is happening with my character? Hello? They say they had two acts done at ExoCon. I think you're right. I think they did say that. 